Penny Robinson from the School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine here. This short video is about manipulation of data in data sets. Why do we need to do data manipulation? When using GraphPad Prism, when you start a new table and graph, you need to know what type of analysis you're going to be doing before you put the data into GraphPad. So you need to work out whether you're doing XY analysis, like linear regression, column analysis, like a t-test, grouped analysis, like ANOVA, contingency analysis, like a cross tab, or survival analysis, or parts of whole, which is a pie chart. So for each of these cases, if we have data in Excel, we need to play around with the data in Excel first. The source of the data that I'm showing in this video is from the Essential Medical Statistics textbook. If you go to blackwellpublishing.com forward slash essential med stats and then click on data sets, you can download the Peru Lung data set. I downloaded the Excel one. So here's what the Peru Lung data set looks like. There's ID number, which is the identification number, FEV1, which is the forced expiratory volume in one second and is a measure of lung function. There's age in years. There's height in centimetres. There's sex, where zero is female and one is male. And then there's respiratory symptoms, where zero is no and one is yes. One thing that I wonder, is the FEV1 different between people, between children who don't have and do have respiratory symptoms? So to do this, I need to copy the data into a new section and I need FEV and respiratory symptoms next to each other. I'm going to delete the other ones and I'm also going to delete ID. So now in column H I have FEV1 and in column I I have respiratory symptoms. But for using GraphPad, we need one column to be the FEV1 for people without respiratory symptoms and we need a second column for the FEV1 for people who do have respiratory symptoms. So what I need to do is I need to select the data, I need to sort it, And yes, my data has headings. So now we've got FEV1, no symptoms, and FEV1, yes, symptoms. And what I need to do is I need to scroll down the data set and find all of the FEV ones where there's a zero beside it. Okay, so that's all of the zeros. I'm going to make them all red before I copy and paste them in. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the data set and go up until I've got all of the FEV ones for people who do have respiratory symptoms. 
So now I've pasted that information in and you can see that there's more people who don't have respiratory symptoms than do have respiratory symptoms. I can now copy these columns and go to GraphPad. And to compare the means, I want to do a column t-test unpaired. Click create. And now I can analyze this data. Now I'm back in the Peru lung data set. And the second thing I want to do is I want to look at how many males and females and how many people have respiratory symptoms or not. Unfortunately, GraphPad doesn't enable me to do a cross tab to tell me how many people are female, no symptoms, female symptoms, male, no symptoms, and male symptoms. So I need to use Excel to generate this information. So I select my data, then I go to insert pivot table. I'm going to put this on a, on a new worksheet. So I need to drag ID to the sum of values and that's the count of values. I want to put sex into the rows and I want to put respiratory symptoms into the columns. So now you can see that I've got a table that shows how many is what. This particular table is a little bit hard to interpret because it just has zero and one. So what I need to do in the rows is the sex, zero is female, and one is male. And for respiratory symptoms, no, it's no respiratory symptoms. And one is yes, respiratory symptoms. And now you can see that I'm just putting the numbers from the previous table into this other table. And now I'm going to copy the inside cells and go to GraphPad again. And I want to create a new data and table. This time I'm doing contingency. And I paste the data in. Analyze chi-squared. And here are the results. You can see that that isn't statistically significant, but we've got an issue with numbers. So that example is for two categorical variables. Going back to the original Peru lung data set, the third example I'm going to show is continuous by continuous. So I'm wanting to know if there were a relationship between FEV1 and age in years. 
Luckily, in this case, the two variables we want are actually right next to each other. So to look at FEV1 and age, I can just select the data next to each other and copy it. If I wanted FEV1 and height, I'd select the entire thing and then I'd delete age out of the middle of it. Having copied those two rows, I'll go back to GraphPad, create a new data and table. This time it's X and Y. And I can paste in the data, but it's actually the wrong way round. So you can see that in GraphPad, I've just rearranged things. So age is the X variable and FEV1 is the outcome variable. And I can look at the graph, which is a scatter plot and see what the relationship is. I hope this short video help you understand the different types of ways you can manipulate data sets between Excel and GraphPad.